So here we are again, but this time the customer has agreed to a self-exclusion. So let's continue by clicking the Start Self-Exclusion button. You begin by completing the customer's basic details. A little more is requested on this form, including the birth date, telephone and email of the customer. In fact, email is really useful, as you can use it to send the customer the details of their self-exclusion, should they wish. Next, you enter the customer's address details. We've included a useful lookup that works once the postcode has been entered. Once you've completed, click Next. By default, all exclusions are set to the maximum of 12 months, but this can be adjusted using the arrow buttons. The minimum exclusion is 6 months. You assign a start date and a reason for the exclusion, then click Next. As you've already used your login, the system knows where you are, so sets the organisation name and site relevant for you. If you're not based at a site, then you can assign one manually. The default radius is set at 1km. However, should the customer request a wide area exclusion, then click Exclude Elsewhere. You'll tell the customer that you'll explain more about their wide area exclusion later, but for now, click Next. Next, you'll take a photo of the customer. This is mandatory and there is no option for icons. First of all, click the Capture Live button. The camera on your device will open. Position the customer in the frame and take the picture. Click OK. And the image will appear in the window. On some devices, it will rotate the image. So you can use the buttons below the picture to turn the image until it is rotated correctly, then press Next. As you near the end of the self-exclusion process, you just need to take the customer through the T's and C's. Again, you can either read them out or hand the device to the customer to read. There are also links to the full terms and privacy notice. These can be reviewed if the customer so wishes. Either way, once done, tick them all and click Next. You now need to check the customer's ID. And do you remember that email address from earlier? Well, it's here that you can use it if the customer wishes to receive their own copy of the exclusion. Finally, the customer agrees to the declaration by ticking the box, then click Confirm Exclusion. If the exclusion hasn't been emailed, you should print it off or make sure they get a copy later, then click Close. You are now returned to the exclusion gallery. It works in a similar way to the customer interaction gallery, but has a few key differences. Red cards denote a new exclusion. Amber cards are a current exclusion. Green cards are awaiting the customer to reinstate. Blue cards are customers in their 24 hour cooling off period. Warning triangles denote a breach. And the green number shows an extension has been applied to the exclusion. At the end of all self-exclusion interactions, you must always finish by talking about other gambling venues and provide details of alternative self-exclusion schemes. And if the customer requested a wide area exclusion, you must give them the back to phone number so they can set it up through us. Finally, strongly recommend that they also contact Gamcare, who provide a 24 seven confidential helpline for people wishing to talk about their gambling behavior. Managing and updating exclusions is really easy. Simply click on the card you require. At the top, the customer's details are displayed as a gallery card and underneath, a series of buttons allows us to take actions. Any that are greyed out aren't available for that customer. Add Extensions allows the exclusion time period to be increased. The customer photo can also be updated here. Clicking Record Breach allows you to record the details of the customer's breach. The process is really simple. Site and username are already filled in but can be changed. The date is entered using the calendar and the time can also be recorded. Next, you state whether the customer actually played or not. And finally, there's a notes box for recording any further information. Reinstate allows the customer to reinstate and start playing again. More info gives you the full list of sites this particular customer is excluded from. Update details gives you the opportunity to amend or add any information that wasn't taken on a previous visit. And update exclusion allows a wide area exclusion to be set up 
and is only available to back the staff 